Hi, Miss Hudson here. Today I'm going to read you part of Rosie Revere's big project book for bold engineers. And this is a companion book to the book Rosie Revere Engineer. Uh, so this is a little project book to go along with it. I'm going to uh, review the story of Rosie Revere, which you can find uh, online videos of that book lots of places. And I'm just going to go over a little bit some of the materials that might be around your house that would be great for doing little engineering building projects. Uh, so let's get started. Rosie Revere's Big Project Book for Bold Engineers. And that is by Andrea Beattie with illustrations by David Roberts. The Story of Rosie Revere, Engineer. Rosie Revere is a shy second grader in Miss Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek. She dreams of becoming a great engineer, but she never lets anyone know about her dreams. When Rosie was young, she made amazing inventions for her uncles and aunts. Everyone loved her inventions. Nobody loved them more than her uncle, Zookeeper Fred. Rosie invented a special hat for keeping snakes off his head. She used parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps pythons away. Uncle Fred loved it so much that he couldn't contain his joy. He burst out laughing. He laughed so hard that he slapped his knee and his eyes filled with tears. But, Rosie misunderstood. She thought that he was laughing at her and it broke her heart. Perhaps she couldn't become an engineer after all. From that day, Rosie kept her inventions and her dreams to herself. <clears throat> when Rosie was in second grade, her great great aunt came for a visit. Her name was Rose. Great great aunt Rose told Rosie about all the amazing things she had done in her time. She had had many thrills and even built enormous airplanes to help her country. Great great aunt Rose had done lots of exciting things, but there was one thing left on her list of adventures. She wanted to fly. But now that she was old, she didn't think she would ever get the chance. That night, Rosie tried to sleep, but she couldn't. She kept thinking about great, great Aunt Rose. Rosie wondered if she could create a gizmo to help her aunt fly. But when she thought about Uncle Fred's cheese hat, she felt sad. No, she thought, I can't help. However, some questions are tricky, and this one would not let go of Rosie. It kept her awake all night, and when morning came, she knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked and worked and worked. Finally, at the end of the day, she was done. Rosie dragged her invention onto the lawn to give it a test and see if it would be a ridiculous flop. Rosie climbed into the cockpit, cockpit. She flipped on the switch. The Hello Cheese copter shuddered and shook. It lunged and lurched. It whirled around and around in the air. Then it froze for a heartbeat and crash, it hit the ground. Rosie heard someone laughing and wheezing. It was great, great Aunt Rose who slapped her knee and laughed so hard that her eyes filled with tears. Just like Uncle Fred. Rosie's heart was broken all over again, and she knew that she would never be a great engineer. She's so sad. Rosie turned around to leave, but great, great Aunt Rose hugged her tight and kissed her. You did it! Hooray, she said. It's the perfect first try. Rosie did not understand. It crashed, 
she said. The Hello Cheese Copter failed. Of course, said her great great aunt. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. I can't wait for the next one. Let's get working. Then she gave young Rosie a notebook and pencil and it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but failing is just part of learning. The only true failure can come if you quit. Great great Aunt Rose tied her headscarf around Rosie's head and they worked together until it was time for bed. And when she slept, Rosie Revere dreamed the bold dreams of a great engineer. So that story was telling us a little bit about the engineering process, thinking about trying and trying again as we build things to solve a problem. So Rosie collects all kinds of things for her inventions. Here are some of the things she finds useful and you might find them useful too if they are around your house and you could use them. She calls these items her engineer's treasure. You might find them useful too. All right, so rubber bands. If you've got a place where you keep rubber bands, maybe you could even make a rubber band ball out of them. Some paper clips, yeah, you can bend them into different shapes. Toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, those cylinders, you can build all kinds of things with those. Broken toys, yeah, you could use some of the parts from a toy that no longer works and create something new with it. You'll probably need some pencils and glue and brushes, maybe a ruler. I say coffee cans, any kind of big cylinder will do, like a big oatmeal container maybe. And here's some other things you might have around, ribbon and scissors, screws, tennis balls. Hmm, yeah, maybe any kind of ball would work. Paint, yeah, to decorate. Paper cups, good to build with. Paper plates, you can cut them easily, you can stack them, you can do all kinds of things with them. String, yep. Wire, a little bit different. Flexible wire, wire is very useful too. Books, hmm. Are you reading in the books or are you using the books to make things? I don't know. Probably you want to read them. Tape. Lots of kinds of tape, including duct tape, packing tape, double-sided tape, scotch tape, painter's tape, masking tape. That's a big one. Masking tape is really good for kids to use. And gaffer tape. Each has its own use. Find out all about different kinds of tape. All right, now, where can you find engineer's treasure, right? This is like the treasure. There are many places that you can find cool things to use in your inventions. In the recycling, you might find cardboard boxes, broken toys, juice cans, milk jugs, plastic lids, and other things that otherwise you would be putting out for recycling. Ask permission and make sure they're clean and safe to use. You need adult help to pick things out of the recycling. You have to at least talk about it. Would it be safe for me to look in the recycling for engineer's treasure? Here's what else it says, rummage sales and thrift markets. Yeah, if you can find something that somebody else was going to throw away and use it, maybe that's safe for you to do right now. Swap treasure with your engineering friends. Hmm. Well, you could post a picture of your collection and maybe somebody would be inspired to swap with you when we can get together again. If you can't find a recycled thing to use, you might find something at a hardware store or a fabric store. A lot of this stuff you could get online for sure. And what does it say? Be careful and be careful when working with sharp tools or broken pieces, there's that need for an adult again. Make sure an adult is always nearby. Here's some more items that you might like to put into your engineer's toolbox, but you would definitely, definitely need an adult for these. Wrench, elbow pipe, screwdriver, nuts and bolts, 
a stapler, mm, wing nuts, those are cool, tape measure, very useful, washers, nails, yarn, oh yeah, don't take yarn without permission, you could get in a lot of trouble, pliers, drill, Swiss Army knife, triangle measuring tool, yeah, maybe there are tools that you could even improvise out of things that are outside, maybe you can make some of your own kinds of tools. All right, so that was Rosie Revere's Big Project Book for Bold Engineers. I hope that you enjoyed the intro story and the engineer's treasures and toolbox items. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.